Project Juniper is expected to launch in late 2024 with a series of major revisions compared to the present and may come with a promising 4680 Gen 2 similar to the Cybertruck. But ahead of waiting for Project Juniper, Model Y fans were quite surprised because the SUV had a serious incident when a customer shared that he had to replace the third battery pack after only 100,000 miles when the reduction in maximum range was significant from 326 miles to 269 miles. He also shared a lot of other information surrounding this SUV problem, including error warnings. So, how could this incident impact customer psychology on the Juniper project? Let's find out in today's episode of Tesla Car Roll. Welcome back to our channel. Before we begin, please show your support by subscribing if you haven't already and ringing the bell so you won't miss out on any of our interesting videos in the future. Now, let's get started with today's content. It is on its third battery pack. It has had two failures under warranty. So I've had two packs replaced under warranty. What happens when your Model Y or Model 3 needs a battery replacement, but instead of receiving a completely new battery from Tesla, you get a refurbished one? Worse yet, this particular Model Y had to undergo a third battery replacement just after 100,000 miles. And it was only with the third pack that it achieved optimal performance. If your battery experiences a degradation of over 8% within a year, explore further the case of this Model Y for the best possible solutions. Why did this Model Y need to change the third battery pack after 100,000 miles? How did I get to over 100,000 miles and three packs? Typically, a Tesla 62 kilowatt hour battery pack has a lifespan ranging from 200,000 to 500,000 miles, equivalent to approximately 10 to over 25 years if driven an average of around 60 miles per day, depending significantly on terrain and maintenance practices. Each charge can extend between 272 to 370 miles, depending on the size of the battery pack and whether it comes with an extended range option. Furthermore, an average electric vehicle will usually require a battery replacement once it's lost 20% of its operating range, though some users may choose to replace the battery before reaching this point. Most users report that Tesla batteries only experience a 5% depletion after 100,000 miles. However, recently, a Model Y long range featured on the Out of Spec Guide YouTube channel encountered a rather unusual situation. As shared by the owner, the vehicle had to undergo battery replacement three times due to two consecutive fault conditions. It remains unclear whether we might have overlooked some previous complaints or feedback from Model Y customers, but we haven't come across any cases mentioning such a high frequency of battery replacements for the Model Y. Most instances involve a single battery replacement after several years of driving. So, what inconsistencies might be associated with this situation? More specifically, the owner of this SUV bought it back in April 2021. He mainly uses it quite a lot for road trips with his family and a daily driver. On average, he drives around 40,000 to 50,000 miles a year, and 40,000 miles are added to the odometer. In our opinion, this is quite a lot of range compared to the average mileage of other Model Y drivers, which means he runs up to 109 miles a day. There might not be much to say when the battery pack continues to function steadily after covering so many miles and the capacity hasn't changed significantly since the time of purchase. However, this Model Y has been reported to exhibit a decreasing estimated driving range when fully charged. Somehow, in this case, some people still think that the decline after such a range, specifically 40,000 miles, is a random occurrence and pay little attention to it. On the other hand, the owner of this Model Y notes that he easily noticed a faster drop in the total charge to 100% within less than a year, even just a few months after purchasing the vehicle. According to the usual principles we observe, after a year with approximately 40,000 miles, the typical degradation of a Tesla battery would be between 4 to 6%. If it exceeds 8%, it indicates a rapid decline, prompting the electric vehicle owner to take it to a maintenance facility. However, in the case of this Model Y, the degradation has reached as high as 12.58%. So, how does the decline occur? The, the charge graph, pretty steady. I, you know, this originally had 326 miles on a full charge. And once it started reading like 285, 280, 275, 269 on a full charge, and this is within like a week or two time. Initially, the vehicle had a range of 326 miles after a full charge but things worsened to the point that within almost a year, the estimated range decreased just over 285 miles, then further to 280 and eventually to 269 miles. 
This degradation occurred within a mere one or two weeks following the first recorded deadline. We do not have information on whether other car manufacturers like GM, Toyota, or Volkswagen send warnings to owners if their vehicles experience a battery depletion. However, after dropping to 269 miles within a week, Tesla issued an error code with the message BMS underscore A066. Based on the displayed content and our research, the BMS A066 error on a Tesla electric vehicle is related to the battery management system, or BMS. This error occurs when the BMS detects a faulty or problematic battery cell. It can result in issues such as reduced driving range, diminished charging efficiency, or even lead to battery damage. If you also experience this situation with a Tesla or any other electric vehicle, please leave a comment and let's discuss. After receiving the error code indication, the owner of this Model Y attempted various solutions, such as balancing the battery, resetting, and charging it fully multiple times. He even allowed it to rest to enable battery management system BMS to balance all aspects related to the battery pack. Despite trying all these methods, the SUV continued to display the 8064 error code signaling a decrease in battery capacity. Realizing the importance of rapid deterioration when just a week after the car suddenly refuses to charge. In this emergency situation, the SUV owner decided to register for a service appointment with Tesla to clarify the ongoing problem with his vehicle, especially since he depends on it to make a living from driving a taxi. What happened to the battery packs that were provided afterward? Although the specific cause of the rapid decline in the maximum range hasn't been determined, one hypothesis suggests that the owner of this Model Y may not have appropriately balanced the charging time after driving 109 miles each day since the purchase, leading to accelerated battery degradation. The 2021 Model Y Long Range uses an 82.1 kWh 2170 battery pack, and as far as we know, the batteries in this variant may not sustain frequent charging above 90% and below 10%. Violating these charging guidelines can result in understandable battery degradation. With a daily route exceeding 100 miles, it seems that the owner might be charging more frequently compared to other drivers. Fortunately, this vehicle is still within the warranty period. While there is no information regarding the cause of the battery issue, the technicians concluded on the same day that the high-voltage battery pack needs replacement, and this process will take approximately two to four weeks. The lack of transparency from the maintenance staff raises suspicions about the Tesla battery for this Model Y. It is possible that there is a defective cell within the battery pack or that if it's not the lithium-2170 battery pack. However, I believe this hypothesis is unfounded and lacks evidence. What are your thoughts on this battery pack? In the end, it didn't just stop at replacing the entire battery pack. After waiting for almost a month for the battery replacement, he discovered that he hadn't actually received a completely new battery pack. Instead, he got a refurbished battery pack from Tesla. In simpler terms, after the battery pack of this Model Y was brought to the maintenance shop, it was sent to Fremont to select intact or at least still functioning 2170 cells and combine them with the other new cells. In the end, we have a new battery pack, but not entirely new. This information was communicated by Tesla's maintenance staff and relayed by the owner of the Model Y. So what exactly is Tesla's battery warranty? We completely sympathize with him here because this is indeed unsatisfactory. You're probably feeling a bit of irony here, as the vehicle owner mentioned in the video that when you replace a front bumper under warranty, you get a new bumper, not a refurbished one. However, he accepted this battery pack with a total range of just over 300 miles. So is everything smooth here? The answer is no. After six months with the second battery pack and covering a range of 20,000 miles, the vehicle once again displays the dreaded BMS A066 code on the screen, indicating that the replacement battery pack's also faulty and experiencing capacity degradation. We've learned that after the first battery replacement, he tried to charge sparingly just to ensure that wasn't the cause of accelerated degradation. However, things still proved to be unfeasible, leading us to believe that the maintenance procedures at the previous shop were subpar, coupled with a substandard replacement battery resulting in this second incident. Learning from the previous mistake, after encountering issues for the second time with a refurbished battery pack, the owner decided to take his Tesla to a different service center. This time, he had a completely different experience. From the moment he walked in, he received a reassuring message. A new battery pack had been ordered and would soon be installed in the vehicle, ready to operate within the next two to four weeks. Particularly impressive is that this process was completed in just about a week, an astonishingly short period. 
The third battery pack, like a solid victory, allowed the owner's vehicle to cover significantly more kilometers than the previous two instances. This brings considerable hope for the third battery pack. After all, the choice of where to service your car is crucial in determining the future of your electric vehicle. Regarding the warranty, it's worth noting that there are three overall options for Tesla battery warranties, mostly applicable to the three types of battery packs in Tesla vehicles. All three ensure maintaining at least 70% of battery capacity, and similar to other warranties, they are determined by the number of years and miles, ending when either criteria is met first. To be more specific, the Model S and Model X have warranties for the battery and premium drivetrain, which lasts for 8 years or 150,000 miles. On the other hand, the Model 3 Long Range and Performance, as well as the all-wheel drive Model Y, are warranted for 8 years or 120,000 miles. Finally, the rear-wheel drive Model 3 and Model Y have separate warranties for 8 years or 100,000 miles. However, it is worrisome to learn that this Model Y long range is approaching the point where the battery is no longer going to be under warranty. With the odometer reading at around 110,000 miles and the warranty period we mentioned set to expire at 120,000 miles, there's a concern about potentially having to bear the cost of over $10,000 if the third battery pack continues to experience BMS issues after the warranty expiration. Hopefully, Tesla's service center has implemented quality control measures and addressed the issues to ensure that this problem won't recur in the near future. This would provide the owner with more peace of mind regarding the stability and reliability of the battery in the long term. It's important to note that this issue is rare among the millions of Model Y vehicles sold, and we shouldn't generalize based on individual cases. Recent evidence supporting the reliability of Tesla's electric vehicles is the sellout of the Model Y standard range configuration in China for the remainder of 2023, as the automaker strives to achieve its goal of delivering 1.8 million electric vehicles in the year. If the Model Y were genuinely problematic, it wouldn't have achieved such widespread popularity, consistently earning the title of the world's best-selling electric car in various periods. The upcoming Juniper project is expected to commence soon, and significant battery upgrades are likely on the horizon. How will the Model Y Juniper feature new battery technology? The Juniper project and hatchback Model 2 have always been awaited in recent times. Besides the leaks about having more advanced lights and cabin areas, notable new Model Y 2024 interior features included ventilated seats, an 8-inch rear screen, a new 17-speaker sound system, and 360-degree soundproof glass. But after the recent battery problems, what we are most concerned about is battery type and battery pack size. The Juniper project is evidently set to be equipped with a new battery structure, potentially boasting an operating range of up to 350 miles or even 370 miles, thanks to a battery pack that could reach up to 90 kilowatt hours, considering we've had 82.1 kilowatt hours for a while now. If the 2024 Model Y Juniper Long Range can achieve a range close to 370 miles, it would become the most efficient electric SUV on the market. Currently, the Fisker Ocean Performance holds that title with a range of 360 miles on a full charge, while the Model Y Long Range is limited to 330 miles. Therefore, we can look forward to a remarkable transformation of the Model Y in the coming year. Regarding battery technology, we're speculating that Tesla might employ the 4680 Gen 2 technology, as seen in the Cybertruck. Currently, the Model Y uses an LFP battery pack with a high efficiency across all metrics. However, if Tesla aims to push the boundaries with the Juniper project, they would likely need something more advanced. The Cybertruck features a 123-kilowatt-hour battery pack, providing up to 340 miles of range. But it's important to note that the Cybertruck is significantly heavier than the Model Y. Tesla previously used the 4680 Gen 1 battery for the Model Y RWD, but it didn't receive much success or positive customer response as it was relatively underpowered. The 4680 Gen 2 holds the promise of providing six times the energy of the standard 4680 battery, potentially offering better acceleration capabilities on the Juniper, similar to the Cybertruck. Remember that the upcoming project will feature a significantly lighter Model Y with much better aerodynamics than the current model, making an impressive range achievable for the Juniper. Another anticipated update is the suspension system upgrade. Customers have previously complained about suspension issues with Tesla vehicles. However, the Juniper could address this concern as it's expected to provide improved handling and stability on the road. Additionally, there are rumors about a 350 kilowatt charging capability 
accompanied by an 800-volt architecture similar to the Cybertruck. After all, let's look forward to this flagship model in 2024. The Model Y is arguably Tesla's most well-rounded vehicle, offering a stable price, a futuristic and sporty design with unparalleled specifications, earning praise from numerous customers for its driving experience. So, what are your thoughts on the aforementioned Model Y case? And what are your expectations for the upcoming battery technology in the Juniper project? We value your contributions. We hope you'll have the most relaxing feelings after watching this video. If you did, please hit the like button and join the Tesla Car World family by subscribing to our channel. And don't miss out on any of our awesome videos by hitting the bell icon. We value your feedback and your time. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you soon. Until then, stay safe and have fun.